so I've done my brows they're like not really amazing at all but I don't care and I'm gonna set my brows this hair literally like you don't need any heat or anything like that or like need to damage your hair just do this hairstyle it's literally oh okay just put this all over my hand that's great love that delicious um anyway you don't need to use any heat or anything like that on your hair like if you want to put your flyaways back like i usually do i'll just put some hairspray on it and it's d-o-n-e boys and gals so it's that easy anyway now I'm just going to show you how I usually do my eyeshadow. I usually like, use my P. Louise, but I'm not wasting that for this video. No offense. This is just the Maybelline Fit Me in the shiny tan light. I swear they changed the formula of this. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? It's really hot in this room, but I really like wearing this because it's super comfy and like super cute. And like, you can't really see it, but it says all about Eve. Girl. So here's a little tip, make sure that you find your outfit, like what you want to wear the night before. So it's easier to match your makeup to your outfit. Takes less time trying to figure out what the fuck you're gonna wear. And so like you're not being rushed on that as well. Nobody likes being rushed. I get it all the time, and it does my head in, but whatever. So we're just gonna blend that out and then we're gonna set it. I have a bloody pimple. You can't really see it right now, but. I've never had a pimple under my brow before, so there's a first for everything. Usually with like eyeshadow, browns and pinks. Oh Jesus, I almost fell off the desk, it's fine. Usually browns and pinks match most outfits. So yeah, if you just wanna like, if you can't choose like brown or pink, like or maroon kind of just match most outfits, but you want to be like extravagant, 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 extra, <sighs> dumb bitch alert. Okay, if you want to be like extra as fuck and you know what colour you want, then just go for it. If you're doing blue, you can do blue. If you're wearing blue, do blue, I guess. If you want green, you can do green. It doesn't really matter. Do whatever the fuck you want, but usually if you can't choose, browns and pinks and maroons usually match most outfits. Mainly brown. So today we're going to go in to my giant... Ouch. James Charles palette. Oh, that's backwards. James Charles palettes. Dirty as fuck. Today we're just gonna do brown because it's just easy and I can't be bothered choosing another color. So with this like eyeshadow look, it literally takes me like two to three different shades depending on how I feel. I usually go in like a little bit with a transition shade just because it's a little bit easier to blend out when you pack that darker shade onto your lid and then blend it out if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade. and just sort of obviously use it as a transition real quick. I'm not saying I'm amazing at makeup because I'm not that good. I love makeup, but I'm not really good at it. I'm just trying to tell you how to be lazy or if you're really in a rush, then how to be in a rush, you know what I mean? So usually this doesn't take me too long. Like I will sort of actually rush myself because I can't be bothered or I just am being rushed. I'm gonna pack that shade on. It's a really, really deep shade. Honestly, it looks like a purpley brown, if I'm going to be honest. Holy shit, that's red. I know this looks messy as fuck right now, but it'll get better, I promise. It honestly looks like we've just been punched in the eye. All right, I just stuck my lashes on. Um, these lashes are from Wish. Oh, they're really fucking big. Um, literally, this one's still drying though, so that's why you can kind of see the glue. But I. I'm going to explain what I did on my eyes because when I tried to explain it before it didn't really make any sense so I'm probably just gonna like speed over it and you're gonna watch me blend eyeshadow and you be like okay cool she didn't really explain it so basically I just used three different shades and it literally took me like 10 seconds to do like it literally doesn't take that long at all so I had I, te I hello I took these three shades right here I used that one as a transition shade to sort of just have like a base down so it's sort of easy to blend the color in at the start I guess I don't really know it's just how I do it and then I took this the darker shade and packed it on my lid and blended a little bit up into the transition shade and to make it like more seamless and a lot nicer I took that middle shade there and put it sort of in the middle 
um, to blend the two shades together and make it look really nice, I guess. And it was really, really easy. Super duper easy. Took me 10 seconds and then I put my lashes on. If you don't know how to put lashes on, I suggest getting one with a very thin band. These lashes have very thick bands. So just get like Ardell Wispies or something because they've got really, really thin bands. Eyebrows and your eyeshadow and eyelashes are literally the longest part of your makeup routine. So if you guys can easily do eyebrows and then just quickly do that eyeshadow because it doesn't take that long at all, then you are set on not being rushed and not being late. I just used primer when I go out and I don't want my makeup to... What is wrong with me today? Okay, when I go out and I don't want my makeup to come off, I make sure that I have primer and setting spray and set the f out of my face. And I always like to use a full coverage foundation, but when I do my makeup for nights out, I don't really like to pack too much of anything on because then it looks really cakey and then through the night when my makeup sort of breaks up, like breaks up from my sweat or something around my nose is usually when it happens around here on my chin. It looks really, really weird and like cakey and stuff. And especially because I have freckles, you can tell. So, I don't use too much. I used to try and cover my freckles up like completely. And that's what sort of made it like really, really cakey. And you just, you just don't want to do that. I used to hate my freckles. I sort of don't mind them now. But like when I want to just do full coverage makeup and like my freckles sort of peek through, it's a little bit annoying. A little bit. But it's fine. So now I use two different concealers. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard. Pretty sure I've said that before in my last video. Anyway, I use this under my eyes because it does not crease and it's really, really nice. And then I would use this under my eyes, but it makes my eyes, like my under eyes really, really dry and it creases, so it's really annoying. So I just use it for like highlighting my face basically. Put my lashes on really weird anyway so i set that with my fit me i don't bake anymore just because it really sort of made my okay it just made my under eyes really really dry and like really gross so i don't bake anymore i had to change the lighting because the sun kept coming out and it was really doing my head in and this video is just going to be a little bit a little bit messy or a lot a bit messy but anyway I still haven't finished setting my face did not realize how much powder was on that brush but anyway I literally just contour oh my gosh my gosh my gosh my leg is so itchy I just contour I do that three kind of thing see this is why I bloody spray down my flyaway hairs my little baby hairs because otherwise they're a bitch to work with. One other thing that I never ever forget to do is, well, take that foundation off my lips first of all. I really want lip fillers like really bad. But <laughs> we're broke as fuck, so we can get them. We will get there eventually when we get rich. <laughs> a girl can dream. Anyway, I use the same Hula bronzer to contour my nose as well as my face. So let's switch on that. We're gonna take the powder brush and literally just go over it so it doesn't look as, you know, weird. Wow, it doesn't look any different. Okay, my camera just cut out. Anyway, so it doesn't usually take me that long, but because I was doing this video, it took me a little bit longer than usual. But this takes like, this hairstyle takes like 10 minutes, and then this makeup usually takes like. 30 to 35 minutes so I hope this sort of like helped you or like I don't know inspired you to do this sort of makeup look or just any makeup or just something I don't know if you're lazy like me or you're being rushed all the time like me then this one's for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed um if you did you should probably like give us a like and like totally subscribe because that'd be pretty good and I will see you what is next. Okay. I will see you next time. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down.